Hi guys, um, just a quick video update on um, my Challenger build. Um, I'm building the Challenger Mark 1. Um, I've had a quite productive afternoon. Um, managed to get most of the hull done. You can see there. I do apologise because I'm iPad bound. I don't have a camera or anything like that. Um, <coughs> All went together quite well. There's um, a couple of unusual bits. Um, I don't know how you can see the guide rollers, uh, the track adjusters are held on by a metal bolt in there, and that can be quite fiddly. Um, what I found doing was there's a little nut in there, and I put a um, a blob of cement on there to hold the nut in place, and that enabled me to go through and, and screw it in otherwise if you've got big fingers you might struggle with that um, the one thing I didn't like about this afternoon's proceedings was the um, the guide rollers here here and here they don't seem to be a very good fit in in the extrusion. Um, I didn't have these problems with the Chieftain from Tamiya. So um, you've got to be very careful when you glue them um, because there is a lot of play in that hole and they could be at various different angles. Um, the road wheels went together fine. They're a, a four piece installation. You've got the two the two halves of the road wheel, you've got a rubber bush in between and then you've got the, the hub cap. Um, the hub caps are a lot better than the um, um, on the Chieftain, they were, they were rubber and they didn't really work, I had a lot of them split on my Chieftain but these seem a hell of a lot better. Um, the hull itself, we've got the obligatory motorisation holes um, which I filled in a little bit of um, old plastic card on the back and a bit of filler in there and that's, that seems alright um, everything else um, the quality of it is is quite good um, it is quite a I mean this is only the second proper model I've done but it's it is quite fiddly um, this back section, as you'll see here, that's what I've completed this afternoon. Um, I, have, I do have a lot of bits. There's a lot of bits to add to it. We've got the um, fuel drums, um, recovery equipment, um, a recovery bar, spare track links. Jerry cans, and we've got the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the, the gun clamp. Now, all that is, is fixed to the back, um, and I'm just trying to make a, a decent decision as to how much of the stuff I'm going to put on there before I paint. Um, I'll probably ask the IA, the, the forum's advice <coughs> because I'm, I'm just frightened of painting it and then not being able to, to glue stuff on because they say you can't glue on paint um, and then you, otherwise you have to use super glue and if, if I start using super glue I'm not I'm fisted it's going to end up everywhere so I'm going to have a, a think about that um, the other thing is we've got the the obligatory rubber tracks, which I hate. Um, now I have pre-fit them, and they do, as it is now, they'll go around quite easily. Um, the problem I have with them is I want a bit of sag in there, and they're just a bit too tight. Now, I had a bit of an incident with... Um, my cheating ones, which I'm quite proud of, where I tried to um, 
stretched them with um, hot water and unfortunately the water was too hot and if you look behind me I think this this is how it ended up it just shrank and shriveled and I ended up spending 26 pounds on a full set which although they were brilliant it was seven hours of my life that I'm not going to get back um, but yeah yeah I mean the the, the metal tracks fantastic um, the seven hours was just because it was a learning curve the first the first track took me a while the second half when I did the other side got a bit of a method in there and I managed I think it took me about two and a half hours to um, to do it to do it through but budget dictates that this challenger is going to be getting the rubber truck you now so if anybody's got any tips on stretching them I think it, with my basic idea was sound I think with heat they will stretch I just used a bit too much heat I think if if it's warm water and I can find a way of, of stretching them and then cooling them I should be able to get a little bit of sag admittedly most of it's going to be hidden by the um, the side armour um, but I do it, there is a lot of natural sag when the tank's standing just at the front and at the back depending on on what it was doing when it stopped you know what I mean if it was turning there's going to be tension on certain places or um, if it's on an incline it's going to be tight in certain certain places without going overboard on technicalisms um, so yeah the the build's going to slow down now because I'm uh, back in work tomorrow for four lovely 12 hour shifts um, if I can grab 10 minutes, half an hour over the next couple of days it'll be nice but I can't see it um, when I work it tends to be work, eat, bed work, eat, bed and I just get them get them done and then I think I've got I've got a week off next week so I'm quite looking forward to that um, right guys that about sums up my update on the Tamiya Challenger Mark III. Um, hope it's all going well for you and I'll update you soon on progress. Thank you. Goodbye.